On today's episode, I'm going to explain to you what causes these electrical outlets or even your light switches to sink deep below their cover like this and three easy tips and tricks on how to easily fix them. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jay from Fix This House. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, please consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Again, just a quick disclaimer, we'll be working with electrical components today, so make sure that you get the proper permits. My codes and your codes might be different, so always get the proper permits before working with any type of electrical, and make sure you turn off the power from your circuit breaker. And once again, if you're uncomfortable working with any type of electricity, please hire a professional certified electrician. With that being said, my full disclaimer is on the description down below. Let's get to the video. This is just a mock-up, but I'm going to explain to you what causes these um, outlets to sink or to look like they're sunken in from their covers. I don't have this J-Box fully secured. The very first problems that causes these to sink is that your J-Box. If you look right here, see how this J box it's supposed to be when it's installed it's supposed to be right and um, leveled with your drywall the box itself the edge is supposed to be completely flushed in a perfect world it will be but sometimes it's pushed in a little bit let's take this out So let's just say that this J box is pushed in uh, just a tiny little bit in. Once they start putting this electrical box in, obviously this is going to sink lower from the drywall itself leading up to. So when you put this uh, cover in, you will have that sunken look because it's not now. So now it is not even with your cover plate. So that will make it have a sunken look. With that being said, with your J-Box not leveled, with your um, your drywall being proud of the J-Box, proud meaning that it's, you know, it's over the J-Box uh, cover itself. That said, this is gonna be tearing up the drywall on the side. Because if you look at your outlet right here, these little plates right here, and if this is actually a very bad one, it's already bent due to the fact that it got pushed in and that's what's causing the sinking but it's supposed to be straight like that okay when you have a nice outlet like this it's supposed to sit up against the drywall you see that so once you put this in it's supposed to go and push against that drywall so when you put this cover plate on see that it's supposed to sink it's supposed to sit nice and flush just like that if you have an outlet that's bent up like this, its tendency is to see that this is going to be sinking deeper into the J box. And what causes this also is that the constant uh, you taking out your outlet plugs or your plug going in and out over time, this drywall around this area will start deteriorating right here, up and down. See how much damage it's caused right in the bottom. And with that, Nothing stopping those this plate right here, this metal brackets at the top and bottom from going against your drywall and eventually it'll start sinking in. Again, this is just an example. It'll start sinking deep into there and that's what's gonna cause it to sink as well. I'm just gonna pretend that this J box sits a little recessed back a little bit. Say it was installed incorrectly. Looking at here, you see how the J box is way deep and you see that the drywall is proud of the J box itself. We're gonna use these brackets. So again, all the tools that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below, all the materials and tools, check out those links down below. And these are pretty much just brackets, very thin sheets of uh, metal. I don't know if they're aluminum or just metal pieces, but they're very thin and they're very, very easy to use. So first off, let's just assume that you turn, turned off all your power. You don't even have to disconnect the wires and everything. Again, this is just for demonstrational purposes. That's, there's an up position right there where you can place it so you don't get it mixed up. Just gonna slip this over and under just like that. What this brackets does is it creates, it levels out outlet with your drywall. Screw that in. 
And now you can put your outlet cover and see how nice and flush that is now. Boom. Easy. If I show you right there, it's nice and flushed and it's not moving. See how easy that bracket is? And all you did was just use this bracket. Easy, these are cheap. Um, probably, like, I think I got these for like $3 or something from Amazon, but check out the link down below. And these are easy, quick fixes. Not all the situations that you might have, this will apply to. So sometimes you have damaged drywall, severe damaged drywall issues around the outlet itself. Let me show you that example. Sometimes you have major damage from your drywall right here. So I did this purposely. I actually damaged the top and bottom, made it a little bit wider. And that what's, um, you see these uh, brackets, they sink deeper right below the level of the drywall. And the next way to fix this, which is tip number two, is building out the drywall itself from top to bottom. So I made a video on how to fix drywall around an electrical outlet. I'll leave that video on the top right corner right here but it's fairly easy to do. Just to, to give you a quick example on how to do it, I'm not gonna mud today, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna apply mesh tape just to build out amounts right there. Just like that. Wherever this exposed area is, that's where we're gonna apply a little bit of the hot mud. Like what you see here, you're gonna mix just a tiny bit because you don't wanna use too much because you're only repairing a little bit. Right when you apply that mud right there, give it a few, a few minutes to dry and harden, and then you can actually place that outlet back in there. And, it should, and all that drywall should act as a stopper for these brackets right here. Let me show you the third way on how to fix this as well. So this is kind of like using these brackets, but they sell it on these little tiny uh, strips like these ones. Now, you can actually, if you look onto these, you can fold them and you can just stack them up as much as you need, depending on how deep you need this to, you need that outlet to push out. Let me install this first so you can kind of get the idea of how much we actually need. If you look right there, you can just get one of these pieces and kind of put it over, kind of just gauge it on how many you need. And if you find that you need a little bit more, you can always fold this and what's cool about this is that you can clip it together so they stick or they snap together like that. Cut it like this, very easy. Just be careful, don't cut yourself, there you go. Or you can just use some snips and just, and you're gonna need top and bottom, depending, sometimes you might need two here, one here, two, two, one, one, it all depends, just try to gauge it. And then you can just insert it through just like that or other way doesn't matter on the down see that S snaps right through the other thing i don't like about these is sometimes they fall off or they just have to w they wiggle around you just gotta have control over it so two actually works perfect see it's back there sandwich so now um the level from your bracket to your drywall is now even because that's sandwiched back there so when you put your cover like so, it is nice and even, just like that. Okay, so that is the third option that you have. There's a bonus one that I wanna show you. Let's pretend that the drywall around this is nice and, and even, um, but the, the J box is still a little pushed inwards. But the problem now is you wanna double check your outlet itself. Look how much this is actually going in an angle and compare it with a brand new outlet, see? The difference with that, what you can do is make sure you turn off the power from your circuit breaker, take this out, or if it's if it's uh, still wired up, if it's still sticking out like there, get your needle nose pliers and pretty much just do your best to try to straighten that bracket out, okay? So again, this is very thin sheet of metal. If you bend it way too much or off, um, too much bending on this will pretty much cause this to snap off or even worse You can accidentally bend it too much and this will happen. Okay, this will break off So you want to be very very careful when I'm um, trying to fix these brackets 
okay so it looks there we have it. we just bent it and see the difference this one's going to angle that one's going straight okay so if we compare with a brand new one it's pretty much totally you know identical and compare it to there see the bend so you just want to try to tweak it so that you can make this straight again only this will work only if all your drywall here is nice and um, smaller and you'll have this bracket pretty much pushing against that drywall. Here's the bonus of the bonus, all right? I should make this five tips and tricks. But, so if you have a J-Box, like this is called an adjustable old work J-Box. For example, you have this, um, instead of this new work, let me take this new or new work out of here. This adjustable new work. So this is what's great about it. That's why it's called adjust or adjustable old work. You can actually move it in and out on different levels so let's just say that this is what's installed and it was way back there you can just unscrew this and move that j box forward so that it pretty much flushes with your drywall again that's only if you have this type if you have the new work like this it's pretty hard to get that you know adjusted unless you can bend those nails from the back but overall that's just another option um, if you have this or you can actually take this uh, new work out of there replace it with a new one so that this will flush right there but if you have any suggestions or any other techniques that i miss leave it in the comment section down below i'd like to know some of your tips and tricks and hopefully you found this video helpful friends on fixing those stubborn ugly looking out electrical outlets that are sunken in Okay, if you found value to this video, friends, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video, friends. Let me know what video you want to see next. Thank you very much.